Hello YouTubers, today we're going to be reshooting the review of the Kenner High Wars Warrior Predator with Battlestaff. Now, there is no packaging. If any of you don't know what these figures are, they basically made um, figures in the 80s of Predator and Alien. They had a, pre an, a Predator and Alien series, then they had the Alien vs. Predator series. Uh, they had this thing called Hive Wars. Now, if you saw my review of the Stalker Predator with shooting spears, it's basically the same sort of line, except this one is, fr is from the Hive Wars wave. The other one is from the Predator's wave. Uh, let's just start with basic detailing. His mask is really nice. It's, um, it's got, like, these nice little, like, ridges through its head. It's pretty long, actually. It's about about an inch long, but for a predator mask on a predator figure, it's pretty long. Um, here is his battle staff. It's like it's it's pretty long for a figure. Once again, I'm using pretty long. It's got some sort of jabbing thing, and then it's got the spear part right here. Oh, let's on his on his arm. He has the his uh, his wrist blade. Which I like how they did the detailing on it. It's got these nice little bolts in it. And then here it's got, like, this sort of, like, chain effect. It's hard to see, but it's, it's got, like, a chain effect. Uh, right here he's got, like, steel metal wrapped around his, like, thighs. His loincloth, actually, I find this hilarious, but why is it made out of metal? Really? It's made out of metal? Uh, he's got thigh protection right here. Uh, and here is his famous shoulder cannon. Here's the backpack part of it, or what they call a backpack. And here's the shoulder cannon. I wish it could have been a bit bigger. Like, just a small, like, a, a, a small little bit bigger. But, it's okay. Here's some sort of thing that looks like some sort of, like, breastplate protection. On his face, on his, on his head, he's actually got, got, um, like a brain sort of shape molded into his head. And here are, like, these little, like, lumps in his head. Uh, his, the detailing on his dread, dreadlocks is, like, pretty nice, actually. It's nice and gray, and it it kind of looks like a snake, doesn't it? Just a bunch of snakes. All right, now let's move on to the articulation. Now, it's a chi It's not exactly an action figure. It's more They call it an action figure, but it's a child's toy. So I'll just call it a toy, but uh, I, I'd consider it, it, this an action figure. Um, the articulation, there's one... Two, three, four, and the head. There's articulation in the head, but it's hindered by the dreadlocks, so I don't count that because it technically doesn't move. So and it, but his jaw does move, which is really nice actually. His jaw moves. So five. Um, he's got detailing on his eyes. Now, if you can notice that the eyes are actually like an acid green, which is very cool. Um, the way you slip his mask on, there's like these little uh, what are those, notches in his head, and it just slides into his face, and that's it, and then here's his spear, you put that like this, and that's about it, he's sort of hard to position, but once you do, once you get the hang of it, you can position him easily, and he fell, haha, <laughs> that's funny, I'll just, I'll just lean him, so that today we reviewed the um, Kenner Predator Hive Wars Warrior Predator with Battle Staff. Uh, thank you for watching my review. It was short. I'm sorry there was no packaging, but that's okay. Um, see you next time.